Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video, to a new episode of Rags to Riches. Um, you might be able to see my microphone in my camera, like, angle bit <laughs> thing. I'm just a bit worried that you can hear my keyboard noises really loud, also if you can hear Milo moving around. Then he's here just being a little, a little nuisance, aren't you? But he's really cute, so I guess I'll forgive him. Milo's doing the video today. Do you wanna, do you wanna sit down? Should we sit down? So yeah, I'm just trialing an error and seeing if this makes a bit difference in my videos. Okay, so the plan for today, I'm gonna get her to go to a shop as soon as her knees are feeling good because I made a load of things off camera that I want to get her to sell today. And also, it looks like she's got a load of like greenery things, greenery things, plants to sell that I'm gonna get her doing. And then we should have a nice big chunk of money and I can finally, not like finalize the house because I think it's gonna be like an ongoing process. We keep adding things, but I'm gonna find analyze the house to a degree that I'm gonna say it's finished and I don't know she's got a house she's got all the bits she's got a bedroom bathroom I'm gonna get her a TV and a computer if we've got enough money hopefully it would do <laughs> and then yeah the house is finished and it means Irene can start going on dates and stuff so we've got some we've got some guys lined up but we'll go <laughs> into that after we've done the shop stuff also I gave them on all an alpha makeover and it took me way too long but I'm very excited for you to see them oh my gosh the how what is going on with the house house like the shower's broken do some repairing the toilet needs cleaning oh my gosh this looks horrible do some mopping and this needs replaced oh no oh no i pressed replace i meant to do repair oh i wish there was a like an undo button for <laughs> when you're in live mode also it's now like five in the evening so i may get her to go to the shop tomorrow i don't know it's feeling <laughs> a little bit late now oh also i got bills while i was playing off camera oh we'll have to pay it 139 simoleons though it's not like it's not awful she's definitely improving at her cooking <laughs> really quick. Can you remember the first eggs and toast that she made? It was disgusting. Look at that. And now she's not even sticking it to the pan or anything. Also, I've just realized she's got level, she's maxed out dancing. That's amazing. Irene is top dancer, apparently. Also, I think, yeah, she's on her period again. She's feeling nice and fresh, but I think she's just got cramps. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's not feeling good. The plants are feeling good. So let's do some super selling. I love that we can super sell now. Supercell all of these. Supercell, supercell. I also quite like um, saying that word. <laughs> Clement Frost, hey Irene, I've been thinking about you today. All right, Santa, that's good to know. Hopefully I'm on the good list. <laughs> so here we are, the little shop. So I basically spent all the money that I made from gardening while I was off camera. I think I only played like an extra day. But quickly before we go in there, I'm just gonna finish this roof because it really, really bugs me. Yeah, I mean, I know, I do, I do know. I know it looks a bit weird. <laughs> this looks terrible. I really don't know what I was trying to achieve here. I mean, I'm probably gonna expand the shop eventually anyway. So I mean, I shouldn't be that worried that it looks really bad. But I mean, I am. Okay, let's just go inside because I want to show you what I've done with the interior. So let's get into live mode. Oh, that's great. You can see the flowers when you put the walls down. So in the shop, we've got the little counter that I want to put a till on, but I think you've got to unlock that with the perk points. Can we do that? Register of tomorrow. Does that mean we get it or we've got to buy it? I'm going to unlock it anyway. Yeah, I don't think that means it's in my inventory now. But Irene has made this table to sell, a bar stool to sell. These are just a few of the little bits she's collected. So she's got the flower arrangements, some more little things, and yeah, the shelf. So you can see I went all out. I'm gonna add in the arrangement that she's made so we can try and sell those as well. I'm just gonna make sure everything is set for sale, which it isn't. So yeah, I'm just gonna, all the things that she's made and all her flower arrangements is what I'm selling. The other little bits and tables are furniture to hold things on. Right, I think that is, yeah, I think that's everything. Also, we've got the toilet. We finally got the toilet. So I'm gonna get the store open and hopefully we end up selling it. I am a little bit worried about the fact that I priced up to 50%. I don't know, I'm a bit worried that people are gonna be less willing to buy because it's more expensive. Oh, but look at that. The value of this dining table is 1,225 simoleons. That's amazing. And the chairs are like 500 simoleons each. We've got loads of people in the shop. Normally we only have about two people. I'm gonna get her to do some like greeting customers. I'd really like to get Irene like a shop assistant so they can do like the cashing up and that kind of thing but I don't think we've quite got enough funds to do that yet. I think maybe when the shop's making quite a lot of profit we could look at doing that but I know that asks for a lot of pay. Oh my gosh why is she getting mad? Don't oh Irene is feeling tense. 
Desperate. Don't ruin this for me. Oh, it's because the fun is so low. She's ruining it. She's ruining it. <laughs> Irene's also feeling a bit paranoid. What are they talking about? They don't like being around other Sims that are whispering. Mm. Oh, yeah, I forgot Irene was paranoid. Uh, that put me on edge a bit too, though. Like, especially having all these people in such, like, a small space. Oh, we've got the first person wanting to buy something. Kyle Hendricks. Let's ring him up for the battle. All right, 241 simoleons. That's not bad. So the price markup definitely gets you quite a lot more money. I'm going to get her to try and keep talking to people, but she's in such a bad mood because of her period. And you know what? I completely respect that. Literally, all she's doing is... Why is there a fight? Why is there two people fighting in my shop? Can you not tell, like, all this furniture is handmade? You're going to break something? I really not really bothered. She's just thinking, oh, cramps. People hate each other. It's Hugo and I think it was Cassandra. <laughs> Cassandra, God. Oh, too much drama, too much drama when Irene's on the period. She just wants to get back in bed. <laughs> oh, I don't know why you're jumping around thinking that you need the toilet. Like, there's one over there. No one's no one's gonna judge. Although, to be fair, if she goes in there and has a wee, I am 100% sure everyone in the room will be able to hear. That's just, mm, yeah, that's that's just not a good feeling. There's nothing worse than being conscious that someone can hear you while you're in the toilet. Oh, Cassandra, she's, she's risking it, she's risking it. She's like... <laughs> Throwing some toilet paper down there first to stop the sound. Also, this um, this Jacob Lamora is literally stood inside my table with no trousers on in just his boxes, which is lovely. Oh my gosh, she bought the dining chair for 753 simoleons. That's amazing. They really don't cost much to make either. Wow. The made 2,273 simoleons, which is actually really amazing. Okay, I'm gonna get her to go home now. No, actually, no, don't open, don't open my main clothes. I'm in clothes. <laughs> I'm just gonna get her to transfer the business funds. So if I literally take all of it, because I guess I don't really need any in there. Right, so in the morning then once we've sold all the plants and stuff, I'm gonna make over a house the last time. And then, like I said, the house is complete enough that we can start dating and Irene is gonna go on a few dates. Lovely rainy day, which good news for the plants, I guess. Not good news for Irene's hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna get her to super sell everything. I'm not gonna save any of the flowers because I'm pretty sure we've got quite a lot. And already the super sell, it looks like we're gonna be getting a lot of money. Oh, the bees, I keep forgetting about the bees. How are you doing? Oh, enraged. Look at that, we've nearly got five grand just from selling the stuff in the shop and selling all our crops. So let's get into buy mode and get making over the house. I may add another room. I don't know, I might make the living room separate. We'll see how far it goes. But yeah, I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, so here is the house. You can tell it's already quite a lot bigger. Well, not a lot, it's, it's a little bit bigger, but I've managed to add an extra room on. So she's now got a living room and that's just a little back door leading out into her little craft area, we'll call it. She's also got a fireplace because I was kind of thinking that, I mean, we've got a chimney. I guess they don't quite match up. But if we've got a chimney, it probably makes sense that we <laughs> have a fireplace. So we've got this one. I really like that I had the logs on. I don't know, I'm kind of envisioning that Irene goes and chops her own wood. We've also got a TV. Yes, it is the smallest TV known to mankind, but it is a TV nonetheless. And if we go into the bedroom, we've now got a wardrobe, because I read somewhere that before you make your Sims change clothes in rags to riches, you should probably have a dresser. So we've now got one. Okay, I know that that was episodes ago. But we've also got a computer, and I want to buy the computer. Oh, it's love day tomorrow. Hey, that could be a perfect time to go on the dates then. I may get her to go back to the shop and try and finish selling the rest of it so I can decorate the house a little bit more. And then on love day, we'll go out and do some do some love day in. <laughs> so the computer, I got a comment off one of you guys in my last episode saying that you think that Irene should start writing books, but not like just fiction books. Also, people really think there can never be such thing as zombies. I want to prove them wrong. Okay. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, we could write books, not fiction, but about the skills that we know because I don't get the impression that Irene wants to be like a famous writer. So instead, she's gonna write books about things that she's good at and she's good at dancing, she's good at gardening, she's good at being handy. So yeah, we're gonna do that. And then that's kind of good that we've got like a continued income because you get it like every day, don't you? Or, some, or every week, something like that. I haven't wrote a book in The Sims in quite a while. But look at that, Irene is having the time of her life watching TV. Look at that TV, I mean, it's tiny. She's probably like having to swim. The living room looks really cute though, don't you think? I'm gonna put all the walls up so we can have a look. So yeah, I mean, it's still looking pretty bare at the moment, but once we've got a bigger TV, I kind of want to mount it on this bit on the fireplace. Yeah, we've got a cute little like 
this cute chair. Oh, Irene's still cramping so bad, bless her. And a nice big window that I did want to put some nice big curtains in, maybe like a bench underneath so you can sit out and, you know, enjoy the rainy weather from inside. That is one of my favorite pastimes as well. <laughs> but yeah, we didn't have enough money. So maybe once we finish selling everything, how are we feeling? How is your fun? Oh, look at that, it's in green. Why are you feeling sad now? From a creepy text, okay? She's feeling creeped out from that weird zombie text. She's also feeling feverish. Why is she feeling ill? I'm pretty sure this is from a slice of life. I'm gonna get her to, what do you care? Um, sickness medicine, yeah, we'll order some medicine. Oh, now she's feeling dazed, but she's feeling medicated. So at least we've got that going for us. Okay, let's go to the shop then, please. Oh, Roman's here, hello, Roman. He loves to visit the shop. Also, is this? No, it's not, okay, I don't know this guy, but oh my gosh, he is handsome as well. <laughs> Greet customer, say hello. So many handsome men in Plumbella's safe file, oh my. <laughs> Roman's the only one that we've got, um, romance with you can tell like I'm not been flirting with anyone else but I have made over a few of the guys who were in my friendship list so she's gonna have three dates in total maybe four if we're getting good with this Sam Pickens I thought his last name was Pickles and it's Pickens which isn't quite as fun as Pickles but we'll let it slide I'm not gonna get to do any flirting though in front of Roman I feel like that's that that's that's a bit cheeky if I'm being honest Roman looks so cute with those glasses on is he fe why is he feeling embarrassed oh Roman don't argue about your career I mean I still don't think he's got a career so <laughs> no he's still unemployed but you know he's still young he's still young it's fine oh it doesn't actually seem like we're getting on very well with Sam Pickles maybe he's looking into my eyes and being like what on earth have you taken you're not making any sense you're just gabbering away to me yeah she's really not getting on with it I'm gonna get her to stop talking to him I think yeah go play in the rain Irene apparently being dazed is just as bad as being tense yes he bought that 525 Amazing. Also, I've got these new things. I think it's with Kawaii Stacey's Slice of Life. I can like compliment people's body. Like, Olivia is fine with her body, but a little comment can make her even better. Okay, sure, I'll say that she's nice. Also, I saw in me that you can pick on Olivia's way, make her insecure. Like, how cruel is that? Okay, so this girl who has just walked in, I actually gave her a little bit of an alpha makeover because, well, I was gonna tell you all later, but she's here now. Also, she's actually really quite pretty. When I was making her, I was thinking, mm, I'm not sure about her. But she is actually, if I can find him on here, yeah, she is Garrett's wife. So look, Kelsey Siegel is, yeah, Garrett's wife and they have two children together who, yeah, I've, I've made over Garrett. I think he looks kind of nice, but I just get such a dad vibe from him and I don't really know how comfortable I feel with making Irene take him on a date. So what I'm gonna do with Garrett is I think I'm gonna get her to like, see if he just wants to hang out. I mean, he's always calling her, always asking her to go places with her. So it's not like, you know, it's not that strange. And if he makes it romantic, then fine. We'll say that it can be a date, but if not, you know, no, <laughs> we're not doing it because I feel awful like, like, you know, ruining this little family that I've got. But then also Garrett is a little bit obsessed with me. So maybe he's got problems in his marriage. I'm not sure. Oh, she's just walked out um, without buying anything to fit. Oh, mm, okay. Do so you think she maybe knows who Irene is? I mean, surely if your husband's texting, you know, a girl all the time, then you're probably gonna wanna know what's going on. Are, are you just friends or is there something more? So yeah, maybe she came, oh look here, is this Garrett? Oh no, no, it's just someone who looks like Garrett. Yeah, no, he's still got Max's hair, so definitely, definitely not Garrett, I made him alpha. Yeah, maybe she came to the shop to like check on Irene, see what's going on, see who she is. I don't know. Maybe she's like a little bit paranoid about the whole thing. See, I can pick on Katrina's way. Katrina is literally just a child. Why would I want to pick on Katrina's way? That's so horrible. There's not much here that interests me and the sales staff haven't exactly been accommodating. I'll take my business elsewhere. Fine. See you later. Oh my gosh. This lady just bought these hearts for like 1,600. The Romeo, that's amazing. Everything is selling for so much money. We've still not sold the dining table and it's nearly like 10 o'clock at night now. So... It's gonna be another late night, I think. But we've made like 2,300 simoleons, which is amazing. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna keep going until Irene is like, I need to go home. She's already getting really hungry and really tired. And she's starting to feel really dazed now from being medicated and fatigued. And just the whole period situation is just, it's not going good for Irene. I'm gonna get her to, oh wait, is she finished her period? I can't change her tampon anymore. I mean, she's still dazed. I don't know if that's like an after effect. Look at, oh my gosh, look at the vibes under our eyes. 
<laughs> oh, poor Irene, she's like laughing hysterically now. Oh, yeah, she's feeling embarrassed. Oh, okay. I'm gonna see if one, I'm gonna give it like another, oh no, she's falling asleep on the floor. You know what? Let's close and go home. We've still made loads of money. I'm gonna take loads of it out, 2,300 of it out. Let's go home, go to sleep, decorate the house a bit more and then go on some dates. I have now spent an incredibly long time <laughs> redoing Irene's house, but I think it's definitely to a stage where it's almost finished. So we basically had like eight grand once I'd sold the things from the shop and then all the um, plants and stuff. It got me a load of money. So I've managed to give Irene a complete new kitchen. I've kind of tried to keep this whole rustic theme, a complete new bathroom. So it looks really nice. And a few like decorations in her bedroom, changed her bedding and yeah, just like put curtains and rugs out. I can see that that is <laughs> blocking the door. Let's just move that, shall we? Oh, also, oh, I forgot to put all the plants back. Wow. Wow, rookie mistake. <laughs> Let's fill the front of the house with plants before we get dating. There you go. We've got her little hanging basket back. We need to get something to fill this planter up, don't we? I think that is everything yeah oh also i got rid of her wash basket and like her campfire just because i felt like we've gone past that stage now irene feels more civilized she's got a washing machine just there she's still gonna be hanging things out because i didn't quite have enough for a dryer also if you can hang things outside it is always better so it is now love day as you can see well you can't see because my face is here but if i move my face you can see that it is love day today and i'm gonna get irene like get all her hygiene up she's gonna take her first bath in her house because all I've had is a rubbish shower and now I've got a nice shower and a nice bath so she's going to be taking a bath also I don't think she ever did write that book that I told her to do did she oh well we can do book writing in next episode so yeah we're going to do that oh I should have put a laundry basket in there oh well also going to get her to like you know do a bit of freshen up Ooh, boost confidence this is new protect you from insecurities that sounds fun um try to calm down oh wait no I think it's just because she's feeling intense there we go she's feeling fine acne immunity cozy fire homey everything is feeling pretty good i'm not going to get her to eat anything because we're going to go on a few dates today and the first date is just going to be maybe a dinner we'll go on a dinner date first and then how are we going to fit three people in okay no how i'm going to do it we're going to go on a dinner date with one of the guys then after we're going to go to the bar with a different one of the guys i'm not going to ask her on a date because I've kind of like talked myself out of it. Like the fact that it's got a family and also it's just, is a dad, okay? So the two guys that we're gonna ask out, obviously Roman, he's kind of been here from the start. And also Magnus, who looks kind of cute with his alpha makeover. You'll see when he comes over. I'm thinking, let's take, let's ask Roman to go out to a meal with us. Although actually I'm gonna send him a flirty text and see if he asks me out. And then we'll go to the bar with Magnus. I don't know why, I just feel like, I don't know, when you're like going out from meal you're like sat in front of each other eating you know <laughs> eating food being all flirty it kind of feels just like a lot more romantic than you know just chilling at a bar also irene looks like she's starting to get some curves back i've just noticed look at that booty yeah she is working it in front of that mirror she's working it she is looking gorgeous i can't wait to give her some <laughs> new clothes yeah maybe next episode we'll do that because we really don't have enough money to spend on clothes this episode oh he's come over oh my gosh she's come to like pick us up that is really cute oh uh, okay we're gonna compliment his appearance okay we're gonna go all out with the romance flirty stuff. Roman looks so nice with his alpha makeover. She's giving him a hug. I think she's gonna do the compliment in his appearance. Also, oh, I should have got her to change her outfit while she was indoors. Instead, she can just do it in front of him. We're gonna do into maybe, oh, we've only really got one outfit, so we're gonna do party outfit. And then we're gonna go and ask on a date. I'm pretty sure you still have to do it through social, even though Roman's like right in front of us. Or can we ask on a date? I don't know. Did you see him then when she changed? It was like, oh, oh, okay. She's <laughs> like changing her clothes in front of me. Okay, call Roman up and ask him on a date, even though he's like just gone in. The back door, someone's asking me to go to the Spice Festival. No, thank you, it is love day today. <laughs> okay, here we, here we are at the old salt house. Oh, it looks so nice. Oh, look at that really really high ceilings okay i'm gonna go and request tape is it not a restaurant surely it's a restaurant i think something's been substituted i don't think we've got all the items that we're supposed to it still wouldn't let me so we've come to the vegan bistro this time and it's just told me yeah eight to seven things have been substituted this is definitely not how the lot is supposed to look it yeah it doesn't really make 
much sense, um, which is kind of annoying. I'm going to get them to go and request this table outside. I know it's raining, but it is actually undercover. And also this bit outside looks like it is, but how it's supposed to look. Yeah, you can see it's got, I can't see her if I put the roof up. So I'm just going to have to keep it down. But they're coming to sit outside. It is such a shame that it's not a nice day. Maybe I really liked listening to the rain. You know, at one point you had to sleep out in it. So let's both sit together. Order for table. I hope this doesn't take all night. I'm feeling like it might do. If it does, I may just get Magnus to go on a date with me tomorrow instead. We've, oh, we've actually not got much money to spend at all. Okay. <laughs> water for both of you we can't spend more than 32 simoleons so yeah it's gonna be, have to be a cheap meal okay so this is all stuff that's supposed to be vegan this sounds awesome like roast tofu chicken veggie casserole this sounds so nice i'm gonna get irene a sweet and sour eggplant roman can just have a faux blt 21 simoleons we can afford that so here we are we sat out on the day i want to try and get a good a good angle here we are <laughs> Roman's feeling flirty. Oh, Irene is feeling passionate. Not just flirty, passionate. So we're supposed to have a deep conversation with the date. I'll try and get it to be a good date, but I'm more interested in just seeing like how these two are together. If we want Roman to be, you know, the end goal, ask him if he wants kids, is that too much? I mean, Irene wants kids, so kind of, yeah, it's open to the idea. Yeah, you kind of want to be with a guy who also wants kids. I suppose income, it's maybe a little bit much, but no, it is identified a fish. Everyone is obsessed with identifying fish in this let's play. I am rich, okay. Roman's rich. This could be an easy way to complete this rags to rich series, you know. Found out that it's outgoing. Apparently we didn't actually know everything about Roman yet, so we've known him for quite a while. Yeah, we now know always a cat lover, is outgoing, is active. But oh my gosh, I've been saying that there is she's only gonna have two dates. There's a third guy that I want her to go on a date with. That's the guy that we met in the bar on New Year's Eve. I gave him an album makeover and everything, and he looks so handsome. Okay, him and Magnus then we're gonna go on a date with in the next episode because I feel like this is all gonna take a really long time if I make you go on a date with everyone. I feel like he's being really nice to us. We're gonna compliment Roman's lean body. Irene's definitely got like a bit of bit of flirting going on also she's changed back into her jumper and trouser situation okay thanks gloria for having your head there um, maybe it does look a bit cold to have that dress on though to be quite honest oh look at that judith zest is here again she's always just like ruining all my gathering she's just always here we need to socialize about the meal but the meal still isn't here i forgot how broken dine out was we're already on gold and we've literally barely done anything which i think is kind of a good sign that the date's going pretty well what do you think it's kind of nice now that it's lit up it's looking a lot nicer even though it's disgusting weather also where's irene's eyelashes gone her 3d eyelashes have disappeared we're gonna have to redo all our outfits next episode oh my gosh they're being really intense that was kind of creepy if i'm being honest she's really really likes roman's body she keeps wanting to compliment it also just notice roman hasn't really dressed up for this day it looks like he's wearing his athletic wear which i don't know that's worrying me a little bit that is not dressed up in his finest but you know we'll let it slide is this our food it's the next table's food why is our food still not here it's always the most horrible feeling when you go to a restaurant and the table who came in after you get their food before you like that it really irks me i'm gonna give it to like free and then if we've still not got food i'm just gonna say dine out is too broken oh we've got the legend today the date's actually finished before we even got our food which is fantastic she still needs to give flowers oh we've not got any flowers because i sold them all to get extra money and the date has been ruined by judith zest this is not fun i'm gonna get her to go home look, oh my gosh look at her eyes i mean <laughs> She looks so weird with her eyelashes and with the big bags. I'm gonna say this date was kind of like a half success because I mean we didn't get any food. Roman didn't actually end up dressing up very nicely but he was nice to me. He was gentlemanly. He came to pick me up from the door. He, we had no mean interactions with each other. We're having a suggestive conversation and a legendary date. So next earth, what is happened there? We've finally got our food. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for the food, finally. <laughs> okay, next episode. Hopefully the date will end up eating at like 1 a.m. in the morning. Hopefully her dates go a little bit differently. So yeah, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think of Roman. Do you want him to win? I say win, like it's a competition. You know what I mean. Let me know down below and I shall see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>